Makai Becton, the first draft pick of the New York Jets yesterday, the 11th pick in the draft. And, um, you know, just seeing his reaction yesterday, he was thrilled. Makai, Michael, Don, and Peter, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. What What did you feel when you got got the 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 phone call that you were the pick? What's your What's your initial feeling? I was. It was just surreal. Honestly, it was just a great feeling. Is once I heard that phone call, my eyes just broke into tears. Because I mean, I, people say, "Well, why, why Why do the kids cry?" And I go, "This is their life stream, and every, they've worked their whole life to be in the NFL, and now they're a first round draft pick. That's probably what's going through in your mind, right?" Yeah, that was definitely what's going on in my mind. Any speculation where you were going to go when the day started? Uh, no, I didn't have any idea where I was going to go. I did see you say, though, that you thought that if you slipped to 11, you thought there was a good chance the Jets would take you. You'd bonded with Joe Douglas. So when you got when it got down to 10, 11, did it start becoming, did that thought creep into your, your mind that you could become a Jet? Yeah, I, I definitely started to feel it. As I seen the Jets, it said uh, the Jets on the clock, I started to feel he was going to call my phone pretty soon. All right, so a 5.12, 40 at the combine. I mean, you're 6'7", 364. I mean, did that number surprise you, or do you run that 40 all the time? No, I, I kind of knew I was going to run that, that fast when I ran my 40. But it didn't surprise me at all when I ran that fast. Wow. I mean, that that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's a, that's a lot of person coming down at you. <laughs> Have you spoken yeah. with Sam Darnold yet? No, sir. Now, you, uh, we, I'm sorry, Michael. I'm, I'm sorry. We were talking about how it's going to affect the general managers not getting to know these players because of what was happening with the pandemic. But, but how about you? Like, do you did you feel you know enough about the Jets when the draft pick was made, as opposed to if you had a chance to, you know, sit down and talk to the guys if the pandemic wasn't going on. Um, yeah, I feel like I, I've, I've got enough information on the Jets for me to feel, I feel very comfortable about me in this team. So I feel good about the pick and about the team. You were, uh, you grew up in Virginia. Have you spent much time in New York before? No, sir. Never been in New York in my life. Never? Never made the drive up from VA? Never. You are, you got you got a lot to experience. I always find it's interesting when players come to this town to play football because not only do you have the same football experience that all the all the kids entering the NFL have, but you're also going to you know what many regard as the greatest city in the world. Yeah, that is the best of both worlds, honestly. Let's talk about the the negative part of this, uh, Makai. At the at the combine, there was a flag drug test. Um, do you think that scared teams off? Did the Jets even ask you about that when they spoke with you? Yeah, uh, me and Joe Douglas had to talk about it. Um, like a couple of days before the draft, he he called me and asked me about the situation. And I just I just was honest with him. He said he wanted to see my face when I told him. So I guess that call went pretty well. Was that what just makes... a mistake on your part, Makai? Yeah, it was definitely a mistake on my part that that I learned from it is not going to happen again. What are some of the things like growing up and just going through the process of of becoming a college football player, adversity that you may have faced that makes you think that I can handle whatever gets thrown at me in the NFL? Um, I would say my grandma passing away was the most adversity thing that I had to face in my life. And how do you get through that? Um, I started talking to my mom more. Me and my mom got closer when that situation happened. So I feel like that, that brought us closer. I've got I've got to ask you this, Makai. Um, your girlfriend on Instagram puts out a beautiful, flowing, congratulatory letter to you, but in it she says you've you've overcome addiction. Then that was taken down, and the word addiction wasn't in there. How can you address that? I mean, w- were you ever addicted, Makai? Um, no, I wasn't. No, I'm not. Uh, it was it was just a you know it was, it was an exciting time for all of us. She got excited. She she wanted to put that post out and. Uh, she made a typo in the post. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't mean to say that, and that's what happened. Good enough. How excited are you to get going? I'm really excited. I can't wait to get on the field. How I mean, how long does one give? One thing that's fascinating to me about the draft experience is that, like like Michael said, your whole dream, your whole life dream, you were thinking about that day you get drafted, but then. Now you have your whole NFL career. It's the beginning of your journey. How long do you give yourself to sort of celebrate this moment? Obviously, it's a weird time to celebrate with everything going on. But how long do you give yourself before you dive right into the work of becoming a pro? Uh, I gave myself a night, and 
I, I was back at it today. <laughs> so I mean, it's cool. It, it was just a it was just a destination. Now I'm trying to get to to get to the greatest. But, any worries or concerns or even dialogue at all with the Jets of, of when you might get that chance to get on the field? We may not have mini camps. We're not sure exactly when we're going to get the all clear here. So just how do you feel about when this all might get started for you? I mean, you just got to stay ready. That's, that's, that's the point. I mean, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just stay ready. I don't know when it's going to happen. I just got to be ready. Well, Makai, we uh, we wish you the best of luck and congratulations. You must be thrilled. You must have a smile on your face all day. Kind of a cool thing to see somebody um, reach one of their life's goals so early in life. So uh, congratulations. Thank you. I uh, have a great day. So Thank that's Makai Beckham. Yeah, and so uh, 